Honorable Chairman, Distinguished Secretary General, Excellences, colleagues. It is an honor for me to be present at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. On behalf of the Government of Ukraine, I would like to express my gratitude to the Union and the Government of Romania for their hospitality and excellent preparation of the conference. Until January 24 this year, Ukraine was at the forefront of progress in the interest of citizens. On January 24, progress, engineers, technologists, all this began to work for the battlefield. The Russian Federation has turned into a weapon even the communication that should work in the interest of welfare and development. Instead of technical statistics of peace, let me give statistics on how Russia sees progress. Over 4,000 damage or seas base station of communication operators. Over 60,000 kilometers of damaged or seized fiber optic communication lines. 18 destroyed antenna mass structures with the providers broadcasting of TV and the radio signal in Ukraine. On the night before February 24, a large-scale cyber attack was carried out on the Assad satellite. As a result, a European user were left without satellite communication. I will not talk about the bloody attacks on civilian and tortures of my fellow citizens in the temporary occupied by the Russia territories. I will only give some express of violation of the norms that you and I have promised to protect in the interest of progress. Frequency set. Russia is using Ukraine frequencies to broadcast its propaganda. Equipment set. Ukrainian companies claim that the equipment is being used to provide internet services to Russian providers. Network set. The Russian Federation is already using part of its number resource for networks in the south and east of Ukraine. Although they still haven't got a decent international response, that are obvious violation of the norm of the preambles and articles of the ITU Statute. We are grateful to the Secretary General and all the ITU staff for its support, as well as to the ITU Council members that supported resolution. 1408 on assistance and support to Ukraine for rebuilding the, the telecommunication sector. But it's much more important that this action undermines the basis of global security and stability, not only in Ukraine. This is a threat to the world, to the use of technology in the name of peace and prosperity. The least that the world community can do is to prevent representatives of Russia from holding leadership position in the Union. The world com community must be strong and united in matters related to the condemnation of war and to the support of the values of the United Nations and the ITU. As far as it is not possible to introduce you the proofs of damage of telecommunication infrastructure at the big screen of this event, we welcome you at our place to demonstrate them on photos. Stop the aggression. Stop the killers. Stand with Ukraine. Thank you so much.